Hey y'all, this is Ashley back with Perfectly Imperfect. I hope y'all had a nice Easter and saved some of that leftover ham because today's video is a ham and pea soup. These are the ingredients that I used. Uh, first I start by chopping up my celery, carrots, and onions. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel and become part of the Perfectly Imperfect family where being perfect is boring. This is my first time making this soup. However, it was one of the soups that my dad made. My dad passed away last year in July of 2023 and one of his favorite things to make were soups. And boy, do I wish I could have called him and got this recipe, but I did my best to recreate it. He was the kind of guy that used frozen and canned vegetables a lot. So I chose to use frozen peas for this recipe. There are recipes out there you, that use split peas, which are peas that are dried, but my recipe is a much quicker version and it's very tasty and extremely healthy. Peas are full of protein and the ham adds extra protein as well. About soups is you can add whatever seasonings you want to them. I saw some recipes online that call for bay leaves as well as ground or fresh thyme. I did not include those in my recipe because I did not have them on hand. So I just stuck with the basic salt and pepper, garlic, and then I chose to add some chili powder as well as some ancho chili pepper and some paprika but you can omit any of these or add anything else that you like this peas add a bit of a sweet flavor to this dish so i wanted to add a little bit of spice to it but this is perfectly up to you you'll want to cook your veggies until the onions are translucent and then you'll add a whole container of chicken stock which should be four cups if you're using the larger container you'll just let your peas and everything simmer together and add your ham bone again I'm using the ham that was left over from my Easter dinner so I had this from the day before and I'm just gonna let this all marry together in the pot for about 20 minutes or so whatever amount of time that you have Next, I'm transferring a good majority of the peas and vegetables into my Vitamix container so that I can blend it up. You'll want to make sure whatever container you're putting this in can do heat because this liquid is hot. Otherwise, you'll have to wait for it to cool and blend it that way. But I did want to keep some of the vegetables whole, but a good portion I blend up and puree here in the blender. This allows me to omit any cream or milk used in the dish, keeping it dairy free. Add as much or as little chopped ham as you wish. I added probably close to two cups of ham and it was the perfect amount. My husband has a funny story with peas. 
When he was younger, he refused to eat them at the dinner table and his mom would not let him leave the table. Well, he loves peas now and he said that this is one of his favorite soups ever. I also had some leftover cornbread from my Easter dinner, so I chose to top my soup with that. Crispy croutons would be a good choice as well. You can also top it with some cheese. I hope you guys try out this simple and quick recipe. It's healthy and nutritious. And if you've never given pea soup a try, definitely give it a try if you have some leftover ham. Thank you for watching and have a great day.